Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll show you guys how to easily set up a dual monitor system for a laptop with a single USB-C port, which is the case with most of the slim laptops nowadays. So let's get started. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos for various smartwatches and smartphones, tech tutorials like this one and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find categorized videos for various content we post on this channel. Okay, let's start with a situation if you have a laptop like I do, which is the Asus ZenBook 3. This has only one USB Type-C port. This can be the case with most of the laptops which are ultra thin and portable as to save space the manufacturer compromises with the I.O. Right off the back, such situation can be very tricky as you need to charge the device and attach accessories like a keyboard, mouse, printer, wired internet, etc. And maybe a dual display setup. Keep watching if you're in such a situation as I'll show you all the possible options. I have done previous videos to address this but as requested by a lot of my viewers in this video, I'll actually show you all the connections I personally used to achieve a dual display setup. Let's start with the cheapest and the easiest option. Now I have two Asus VP228 gaming monitor. By the way, they are fabulous. If you are in market for a good gaming monitor, then I would highly recommend them. Check out the links in the description of this video for awesome deals on these monitors, as well as any cables or adapter I mentioned during this video. Now the first thing you need in such situation is a USB-C to a USB-C charging input, HDMI, and a USB 3.0 port adapter like this one. Asus was kind enough to provide one, but if you don't, then you can find it on Amazon. I have linked few good quality 4K HDMI adapter in the description of this video like this one. You'll be looking around 35 to 40 Canadian dollars depending on any deals and where you're located. A good benefit to these adapters are they are very lightweight and portable. Once you have it, you will be able to charge your laptop as well as attach one monitor to your laptop by an HDMI cable. Both of my monitors have HDMI cable so let's go ahead and plug one monitor in. By the way, if your monitor does not have an HDMI cable, uh, you can also get a VGA to HDMI adapter or a DVI to HDMI adapter like this one. For super cheap, about 20 Canadian dollar. Just make sure they are 1080p compatible. Again, if you want, you can find them in the description of this video. Once connected, you can change the projection setting by pressing Windows plus letter P to get quick projection options. And you can either select between PC only, duplicate, extend or second screen only. Most likely people will go with extend or duplicate. Now to connect another monitor, you will need an HDMI female to USB 3.0 male adapter like this one. Since this USB hub has a USB 3.0 female port. Now I got this one from Amazon for about 30 Canadian dollar as shown over here. Again, you do want to make sure that it's at least 1080p compatible as most of the cheaper ones are not. I have linked few in the description of this video. Check them out. Let's go ahead and connect the other monitor. Now once connected, you will have to change few settings in the display section uh, if you find your monitors are a bit finicky. You can go in the settings then display. Here is where you can uh, detect as well as arrange the orientation of the screens. You can also change few settings in the multiple display tab like uh, duplicate 1 and 2 or extend 1 and 2. I have done a video for a deep dive in these settings linked up here. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. After playing around you will be able to achieve your desired dual display setup or you can even set up your laptop screen as a third display for a triple display setup. 
I have actually done a video to attach three monitors to this laptop. You can find it linked up here and at the end of this video. Now having this setup, you can see there ain't any port left to attach other accessories like let's say a keyboard, mouse, USB drive or your phone. If that's the case, the best and the cheapest solution I can recommend will be this XZ USB 3.0 male to times 4 USB 3.0 female adapter which I have with me over here. So you can simply remove the monitor connected to the laptop via this USB 3.0 port and attach this XZ adapter to that port. And then just plug your monitor to one of the XZ female 3.0 port. And now you have three spare USB 3.0 port to attach whatever you have to. Like in my case, what I have done is I have attached another such XZ adapter to this port which is attached to my wireless keyboard plus mouse, printer, gigabyte wired ethernet port. You can find it in the description of this video if you need like something like this. And lastly the cable that goes to my phone. With all this I can still have two USB 3.0 port left to which I can connect an external hard disk or a USB drive. All this will make you question about the performance and frankly I have been using this entire setup for almost a year and a half. I, I'm not a gamer, I don't play a lot of games but I do edit my YouTube videos with this setup and to me it works great. There are no heating issues whatsoever. But again I'm not a power user, I would maximum sit about an hour or two on this particular desk. Now let's quickly talk about some expensive overkill power user options for a dual or even a triple monitor gaming setup like this Wavelink USB-C uh, either single 5K at 60Hz or dual 4K at 60Hz docking station which also has a gigabyte ethernet four USB 3.0 ports with a USB-C 60 watt power supply and two USB-C input port along with an audio out and mic in port. This will cost you about 220 Canadian dollar but this is a beast. You can pretty much attach anything to your laptop with just one single USB Type-C port. The only downside to such docking station is that they need their own power supply. So it's not ideal for on the go setup as I showed you earlier. Alright now let's say you have a laptop like this. Acer Spin 5 right here which has a lot of IO like an HDMI, USB-C, USB 3.0 ports, SD card etc. Having all these IOs makes it super easy to achieve a dual display setup unlike the Asus Zenbook 3 which I showed you earlier. So for this since you have an HDMI input already just plug one monitor in and to plug the other monitor we will use the USB 3.0 male to HDMI female adapter which we have used it already in the previous setup and just plug it into a USB 3.0 port and that's it. Again you can click the windows plus letter P to quickly manage projection options or you can go in the display settings and play around to get your desired dual display setup. Now for either of these laptops if you want to add a third monitor uh, all you have to do is get another USB 3.0 male to HDMI female adapter and plug it in you should be able to achieve a triple monitor setup and again you can check the video linked at the end of this video for the triple monitor setup I was able to achieve for less than a hundred dollar. So that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.